today I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. This is a little tiny bit different from the last Dollar Tree haul I think I did. I've, I haven't done one in a long time. But this is a Dollar Tree haul from the States. So I have found that there is a huge difference in what they have at the state in the States compared to the Canadian Dollar Tree haul. If you guys didn't know, I'm sure the Americans know, but a lot of the ones in the States have like coolers and way more food than the one in Canada does. The ones in Canada have like some stuff, but not, not a lot. But, um, so if you guys want to see what I purchased at the Dollar Tree in Bellingham, then obviously just keep watching. So first off, I bought this Dove soap and it's kind of interesting because I was actually at Walmart first and the Dove soap was $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And then it is, uh, it was a dollar seventy four at the Walmart. So it was actually cheaper to buy the one soap at the Dollar Tree. Then I mean, I may have gotten into these snacks already, but I do tend to buy some really fun snacks at the Dollar Tree in the states. These are Mexican street corn snacks. So that is that. I really enjoy these. That's I mean, they're already open. So yeah. And then of course Easter happened recently, so I picked up some Easter stuff. They had a couple of bins of stuff that were like Easter candy and stuff. And everything was 50% off, so I got these cotton candy peeps. I don't eat a lot of peeps. There are five in here. I figured for 50 cents that was pretty good. And then they had these, and these were the Oliveries. I think that's what they're called. White chocolate pretzel rolls things pretzel rods and I for 50 cents I figured I'd try them out haven't tried those ones before I've tried like the Starbucks ones that aren't like they're like caramel and stuff but yeah then I picked this up here this is the ultra gel driver's choice wash and wax and this um is not going to be for a car I don't drive but I've seen I think it's do it on a dime on YouTube and she did this video about how She's seen that she puts this on the shower, like a standalone shower, and it actually, the water beads off of it a lot more, and you get a lot of less soap scum, so I'm going to try this. That's why I picked this up, and I couldn't find it in any of the ones in Canada, so I was having a hard time trying to find it in Canada, so I picked it up at the one in the States. Uh, okay, so then I picked up two doggy toys. I have two dogs and they are super adorbs, super annoying, but they, for some reason, their favorite toys are any of the ones that I buy at the Dollar Tree. They have two of these ones already, just in different colors. They, these, I don't know what it is about the weird bone, like one, the, these they love. They play with them when they're, when they squeak, cause they, they both squeak. <laughs> so yeah, but these ones no matter what whether they squeak or not squeak they still play with them and honestly they have so much fun they don't like chew on them and stuff we like it we kind of use them as a toy to like throw and then i figured this one would be kind of fun it squeaks it's a little duck i just kind of whatever this thing looks like i don't even know what this is it's it's blue but yeah i picked those up and then i picked this up here and this is the minced garlic I don't know if this is any good. I like to make garlic bread out of minced garlic. So, I mean, this is $1.25 and it's pretty big. It's eight fluid ounces, so that's pretty big. I'm gonna try it. Uh, if you guys use stuff like this from the dollar store, leave me a comment in the comments below. Let me know what you think about it. I do use a lot of their spices, but this is the first time I've even seen this like this, but yeah. Then I picked up two of these, and these are the pencil holders. I'm not actually using them as pencil holders. I use them for other stuff. <coughs> I use command hooks that are for posters or like picture frames and stuff, and I actually attach them to my wall for organization up walls. And the reason why I picked up some more of these is because I bought, well, a few of these drink crystal things. So I bought six different drink crystal ones and so what I actually do is I take them all out of the boxes, 
put one of these on the wall and then I actually put all the packages inside one of these so they're nice and organized and then they don't have a bunch of these kicking around. So I'll go, so I have two of those and then I'll go through all my drink crystal packages. So for the most part, I only buy the ones that have like no, like no sugar added or whatever. And I've never seen these ones before. These are the Sonic ocean water ones. They're the blue one. These are, yeah, the ocean water ones. So I love Sonics, but there's only like two Sonics in uh, like anywhere near here. None of them are in Canada. There's one on the way down to, I think the belly and ham. And then there's only one other one that I even know of that is, I think in Wilsonville, Oregon, no nope, Portland. So, but I really love Sonic. So I picked up two of those and then I picked up the cherry limeade one. So there's that. And then I picked up this one here. This is the sun kissed uh, this is the orange mango, peach or peach mango, whatever you want to call it. So they're just the singles on the go. I like them. I like to have them for my work, like in my work bag too for lunches. And sometimes at work I drink a lot of water. Sometimes I kind of get bored. And instead of running upstairs to like a bubble tea place or like running out to grab something, I like to have a few of these lying around. So then I have a peach tea one from um, this brand. Willers, I think and then they had a Skittles one. So this is the original punch Skittles So I like to try that and then I picked this up here. This is a sugar-free salted caramel coffee syrup Yeah, for $1.25 I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree before so the minute I saw it I Nabbed it. I should have grabbed two to be honest because I use a lot of syrups for coffee but I um, didn't know if it was good, so I didn't want to grab two and then like not want to drink it. I bought these here, and these are corn, toasted corn, or to toasted corn. They are snack club, but um, I don't normally buy a lot of snacks, like snack bags or whatever, because they don't actually, they're not worth it at the Dollar Tree because they're small bags, but this um, is a tahini flavored one, chili lime. So I really wanted to try this out, so I did splurge and kind of get that. Then I just picked up a book. I do like buying books from the Dollar Tree because they have really good books. Also, um, to be honest, they're really inexpensive. I like to take these ones on vacation with me because if I don't want to bring it home, I could leave it in the like the hotels where they have a lot of a lot of the hotels that I go to have like leave a book, take a book kind of thing. So I always just leave them for other people to read. And then I'm going to quickly go over these just because, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a normal thing, but I did pick up three of the anti-diarrheas. I have some stomach issues all the time, so I picked those up. And I always think that they're really good to keep on hand in case I'm lactose intolerant. And sometimes you don't know what's in your food. Sometimes you forget to take pills and then you have problems. So that's what those are. And then I got two allergy relief meds. I uh, just started to get allergies, if you hear me coughing at all. I've been coughing a little bit of allergy, one of my allergy issues, and I haven't really had to take allergies before, med, or allergy meds before. I am allergic to my, to cat, I'm allergic to cats, so, but, so I figured I'd try these out. My sister takes allergy pills a lot. She's allergic to, well, pretty much everything. Honestly, pretty much everything. So she does take a lot of the allergy meds. So they're just, I mean, honestly, you can buy them at the dollar store. They're cheaper. So we did see allergy pills at Costco that were cheaper, but they were the drowsy ones and non non drowsy. So, I mean, it was, they were $5 for like 500 pills. That was a lot. And then... I picked up the bag because obviously sometimes you forget the bags when you go shopping. All right, well, that was everything for this Dollar Tree in the States haul. I hope you guys stay safe and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.